to round out our evening of author tours, we have the talented Sydney Smith, whose newest book is the upcoming I Talk Like a River, with a spectacular gatefold, which you really must see in person. And I will turn this over to Sydney now. Thank you. Um, well, uh, I don't actually <laughs> have a video or, or really anything planned to say other than, um, I mean, here I am in my studio. I'm in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I might be the most Northern person here uh, in, in this Zoom meeting, but uh, this is also a garage. I'll show you around. I'm not on a, like, I don't have a phone. I don't, it's not a laptop. It's like a big computer. So I'm just gonna kind of just show you. Actually, the ugliest part of my studio is over there. There's like a, like, a heavy bag and and like a like a train set that my my son and I are working on, uh, and then over here this is the uh, there's the couch for uh, contemplative napping, and uh, and then uh, you know then there we've got our books and everything up here. Let's see, this is actually kind of works. Yeah, uh, my wine glass which is always there, and um, and this is mo mostly where I will be doing my painting and studies and doing studies and sketches and sketches and sketches. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm currently in a stage right now where I'm working on a book with Neil uh, and it is, uh, it's a doozy. It's really, it's really, uh, it's, I'm, I'm getting pretty deep into it. And so I've got stacks of sketches and stacks of paintings and all of these paintings here on the wall are all just, preparatory sketches towards uh, a final uh, future project. But the, the project that uh, I'll quickly talk about right now is I Talk Like a River, which was written by Jordan Scott and presented to me by, by Neil. And uh, uh, pretty much right away when, when he sent it to me, I, I knew that it was a, a project that I really wanted to be a part of. And, it, and although it's not my story, it's, it's, it's very much Jordan's story. It's his own personal story of, of uh, growing up and his experience and his continued experience um, living with a stutter. Uh, I, I thought it was very moving. And, and, and so to be part of it was is such an honor. A lot of it, um, I was happy to I was happy to discover that that uh, working with Neil uh, he really encouraged me to experiment a lot and uh, with every project that I work on experimenting and it's like, almost like a lab you know you you sort of uh, you go into into there and sort of as an alchemist try to come up with some gold. And sometimes you come up with some things which you uh, uh, never expected, never anticipated. And, and so this is what this book has really uh, is full of, is all of these experiments and um, pleasant surprises that, that came from many, many, many versions of the same thing. For example, I'm just gonna show you an example of, of how I was working on this, on this book. And for other illustrators out there and other authors, I know that this is not the most efficient way to work. So, okay, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the, actually, this is the real, this is the real beautiful and, and uh, very satisfying part of this, of this book was that when we decided that it was, it would be better with a gatefold. And I, I'm so happy it, it it actually did work out because because once it opens up, it just feels it feels so perfect for the story. And so, working on this gatefold, I knew that it, this moment in the book had to deliver such emotion and such such a kind of cathartic moment. So I just decided to, I'd start I'd start painting it. Eh, that didn't really work out. So, oh, no, that didn't work out. So I tried another one. No, that didn't work out. A little bit different. I mean, it looks like they're the same painting, really. But, 
This one. That one is almost made it. I think I maybe went through and that one's way too small. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, started getting a little bit hazy with that one. I think I ended up, and then here's the one that I ended up with. And I don't know if you can see the difference between all those 10 different versions, but it was bothering me for so long that I had finished the entire book. And I don't know if I did this on purpose or not, but Neil sent me a message saying, where is that gatefold spread? Where is that gatefold spread? We, we don't have that file. Can you send it to us? And I thought, oh, this is my chance to do one more last version to see if I can do something that I'm happy with. And I did it and it's in the book and it's a moment that I'm so proud of. And the whole book, I'm just such a, I'm so proud to be a part of it. Uh, and uh, I mean, if you wanna come and see my studio, I'm in Halifax, you're all welcome to come and uh, swing by. Uh, uh, thanks so much.